My ceramic piggy bank isn't quite finished. I'm going to need some wooden tools and some texture plates with different textures. Some slip, a ruler, a pencil, a cork, and a clay knife, and some scissors. Now I'm going to be adding some wings to my owl to make him look a little bit more owlish. So I'll add some wings. I'll also be adding a tail and some textures to make him look like he has some feather texture on the outside of the piggy bank. So right now I am going to make the wings and I chose two pieces of clay about the same size and I'm kind of making the wing shape and flattening it out. And I'm going to be slipping and scoring to attach those wings. So again, scoring is scratching up the clay, and slip is a mixture of water and clay. It kind of acts like a glue. Now I can't just leave it like this. I actually got to actually um, spread the clay together, blend it together with a wooden tool. So I'm going to blend that together to make sure that it's got a really strong bond. Because this is a pretty big wing, it's a pretty big piece of clay attached to another big piece of clay. So I need to make sure that I really blend that together in certain places to make sure that it stays attached. Now I ran into a problem where I accidentally knocked my owl's beak off. So now I have to do some emergency beak surgery. And that's okay. I just have to score and get some slip on there again and reattach the beak. I didn't do a very good job of blending around the beak, so this time I'm going to make sure that I really blend it well. You might have some problems like that where things fall off and that's fine. Now I'm using the clay knife to kind of add some definition to the wings to kind of cut up from the bottom to make them look a little bit more like wings. Right now they just kind of look like weird arms, but I'm going to add some texture to make it look more like owl wings. And now I'm adding the tail, and the tail is just a piece of clay that I attached and I'm blending it together to make sure it doesn't fall off. And smoothing out the tail. Make sure you always check the bottom too and smooth out any areas that you see on the bottom. And now I'm going to start adding textures, and this is where it gets really, really fun. And I'm using a pencil and wooden tools to add different lines and designs and textures onto my owl to make him look more like an owl. And on the back of the owl, I used a wooden tool to just kind of rough up, uh, rough up the clay. And on the front, I'm actually going to be using a rounded wooden tool to kind of create a fish scale or feather pattern on the front. Add some eyebrows to make him look more expressive. Kind of smoothing out the eyes and making the pupils look a little bit bigger. And adding some textures to the tail. Now we need to cut the hole for the cork plug. And I'm going to take a cork and just press it in the bottom where I want the cork. If you want the cork in the mouth, you can make it so the mouth is going to hold the cork instead. It's up to you where you want the cork, but this kind of helps you cut out um, the area for the cork. So you make the little impression, and you're going to cut with a clay knife. If you already have a hole in your clay, that's fine. If it's a little too big, you might want to add some clay or stretch the clay a little bit to make the hole a little bit smaller. And then once you cut the hole, you can actually reach inside and smooth out the areas on the inside. So you can smooth out that seam, make everything a lot smoother. And the inside might be a little bit wetter than the outside, and that's fine. It's just because it holds moisture on the inside. So I'm just smoothing out the area. I'm smoothing out the places where I cut on the bottom, making sure that it's all pretty much smooth and ready to go. And it's helpful if you cut the hole a little bit more of an oval. And I'm cutting the cork now in half because I don't need that huge cork. I only need a smaller half size. So you're going to want to cut the cork in half and use a really strong pair of scissors to cut the cork. And then I'm going to see how it fits. Next, I'm going to actually use a large jumbo popsicle stick to create the slot for where my money goes into. 
so it needs to be big enough to fit quarters and if I had a dollar bill or any kind of coins it needs to be big enough to fit those so the popsicle stick works really well to make a slot and you can actually see all the way through it and if you can see through it then you're good to go make sure that you measure the slot to about an inch and a half so 1.5 inches and if you're not sure where that is you can ask somebody at your table or ask me just raise your hand and I can look at it for you it can be bigger than one and a half inches mine measures pretty close it's a little shy of one and a half inches it's more at 1.25 inches instead of 1.5 so I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger the reason why we want to make it a little bigger is because uh, it can actually, the clay will shrink as it dries. So as it dries, it's actually going to be a little bit smaller. So it's better to make it a little larger. And then when it shrinks, we don't have to worry about things not being able to fit inside. Next, you can also try and use the texture plates. And the texture plates are plastic with all different textures on them. This works best when your clay is somewhat still kind of wet. If it's starting to get kind of hard and dried out, it won't work as well. You do have to press pretty hard. So in this video, I know you can't see it very well, but I'm pressing pretty hard into the clay to make sure that I get that um, texture impressed in the clay. So there's that texture impressed in the clay and I really like it. It looks kind of feathery. And then the last thing that you're going to do is write your name on the bottom and you'll leave it out of the bag to start drying. It takes about a whole week to dry completely so we leave them out of the bag for a whole week. Make sure your name is on the bottom otherwise somebody could claim it as their own and it's really hard for me to grade your project if you don't have a name on it. And you're all finished with your clay ceramic uh, piggy bank design.